And there is a tug of war going on to integrating everything into a six and a 13 year old. Is that what you basically live with now? So now I can't pull them out. Now I actually, I, I have the sense of my six year old self. There was an incident where, and this was very recent, where I became co-conscious with my 13 year old self. I was in the shower and all of a sudden, I started having thoughts of like, I can't be here anymore, I need to die, like these feelings. But I knew they weren't me and now it was very clear. And I started having a co-conscious conversation with me and my other me, my 13 year old self. Mm -hmm. And she was, I was having mm -hmm. emotion as her. And I was talking as plainly as you and I are talking. I even was joking with her a little bit. I said, you know, I need to keep the body <laughs> you, yeah. If you're going to go away, you got to leave. The, I only got one of these. So yeah. like this was the kind of conversation I was having with myself. And and it went into like, I'm holding you back from ever being loved. I push men away. I stay in this masculine energy. I don't let you be feminine. I don't believe I can be loved. If you stay with me, you'll never be happy and you'll never find someone and you'll be alone for the rest of your life. So I have to die. And it really breaks my heart because it's like, <laughs> it's me. I felt that way, but I, it was a part of me that was just, you know, like trapped. And it was like, um, sorry. Was that <laughs> something that you, that as strange as it sounds, is it something that you would Thank grieve you. the loss of that yes, sir. companion? Yeah. Because, and it sounds strange to say it, but that's someone that you experience and sh and share experiences with, right? Yeah. She and, she and was my rock. Gone. Like she made me safe in the world. Mm -hmm. And she was the one who knew all of my <laughs> my ugly parts, you know? And she was still willing to fight for me. Mm -hmm. Um and go to bat and even if she would condescendingly look at me and like disregard yeah. <laughs> or shame me, at least I had this fighter in my corner. And then she just took control. And she went into hysterics, and that was when she said that she had to go away. And then I did. I she over the course of three days following it, she began to no longer appear in my internal world, and I um, really grieved. Like, obviously, it's still a little raw. Yeah. And let me ask you this: Did any of the things that any of the characteristics, traits, and values that she embodied, did you learn from those and hold on to any of those things so you made them part of you? Can you do some of the things that you saw her do? I think of her as an individual because of the right. way this is. One of the individuals who I am most grateful to in the whole world is her. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.